Okay, right. Welcome to a, a really quick, this is going to be a really quick video this. Now in my last video I talked about star trails and, and how I plan star trails, how I take them, put them all together. Now in this video all I want to really do is just concentrate on trying to explain how to find the North Star because uh, it can be a bit difficult sometimes. Um, if you're at home it might be fairly easy to, to know where the North Star is but but um, the problem is is when you go away somewhere you go somewhere away from home you travel somewhere and you look up and then you find yourself completely lost you thought you knew where the North Star was but when you get out somewhere different you, you find yourself completely lost again and especially if you go somewhere abroad you know that can that can be really difficult to find the North Star then so I've put this video together to uh, try to help you with that. So what I've got here is I have the program Stellarium loaded up. Now this is a free um, open source software and it's really really good Stellarium. In fact most astronomers will use this program because it's pretty much the best out there. Now there's all sorts of other programs you can get. There's one called Photopills, I think that's quite good. I don't use it myself to be quite honest. Um, there's other pro there's many other programs you can use. I tend to use this mostly on my phone, so I'm not used to using it on the computer. I've got it on the computer now, so hopefully I might, I, hopefully I can um, operate it all right. I'm just not quite used to using it on the computer. But anyway, here's the screen, and you can pan around the horizon, and it shows your west there, facing west. We can look towards the south. We can see Orion there, constellation of Orion. There's a moon. This is this is as it would look tonight, by the way. Um, this orange line here is the um, the ecliptic. This is the path that the sun takes, and the moon and the planets roughly take this path through the sky. I've, I've turned these things on just to show them, and you can turn them off. You can turn these things off if you don't want them, uh, but. Um, yeah, and this is the menu. Um, so you can turn things on and off like that. You do all sorts of things. It's, it's a really, really good program. So anyway, this is the view looking south, and as you can see, Orion's there. Orion's up the right and hot, a very recognisable constellation. But what we want to do is find the North Star. So I'll move it towards the north, which is labelled on here, there, which is quite handy. So it's quite easy to find on here. And you'll see that there's a big circle, a really big circle. If I zoom out a bit, you can see. So everything within that circle is circumpolar from my latitude, which is Blackpool. I have the latitude set in here. Blackpool, 53 degrees north. So this big circle represents Everything that's inside this circle will never set, so no star, so you've noticed there Vega, a very very bright star Vega, you can see that all year round, that star will never set because it's inside the circle, it will get quite low, it will come down to here, so you might, if there's a barn in the way, that barn there happens to be in the way, you probably won't see it if it gets down that low. So, okay, the North Star, right, the, let's get onto the North Star, the easiest way, the, the most easiest way to find the North Star is to use um, the plough ast asterism. So this is um, this is the plough, very recognisable con uh, consulate. I say consulate, it's an asterism. This is an asterism because a an asterism is a group of stars that's um, very recognisable, but is actually part of a bigger constellation, the Great Bear, and this is the bigger constellation. Now you, you won't see this because the, these stars here are so, I don't even know how they, how they made a Great Bear out of it to be quite honest, but anyway this is the Great Bear, and this is what we're more familiar with, this part here, it's the tail and the back. So this is, this is Ursa Major, and this is what you can see in the sky, quite easily. So what we do is we look at these two stars on the end here. These two stars are very important to find in Polaris. What you do is you draw, 
draw a line out from these two stars and it, it the next thing it hits is Polaris virtually it's, it's almost a straight line from there to there to Polaris and also you'll find that Polaris while not being a very bright star it is kind of on its own in a very blank area of sky so it is quite easy to see if you can see these two stars here and you draw that line up to there you, you will see Polaris now that's the easy way to find Polaris in our night skies now there is a slight problem um, if you happen to go somewhere abroad let's say that you go to Tenerife for your holidays nice and sunny Tenerife so let's go down to Tenerife So I've now, I've now put in Tenerife and the first thing you notice is when I put Tenerife in is that the circle has got a lot smaller and that's because from Tenerife there's a lot fewer circumpolar stars because we're further away from the pole so this circle is a whole lot smaller so within this pole now we can see Polaris and Ursa Minor I forgot to mention that this is Ursa Minor by the way the, the constellation um, now how do you find Polaris from Tenerife if you haven't got these guidelines on if I turn these guidelines off now you can see that the North Star because we know where it is that's the North Star and you can see it's quite a lot lower to the horizon this circle is a lot smaller because we're further away from the, the pole where we're at Tenerife is about 28 degrees north so we're 25 degrees further south so Polaris is going to be a lot lower down but imagine looking at that sky now and not having the benefit of having those constellation lines how do you know that that's Polaris well it, and it's all to do with the time of the year as well because if you look this constellation here if I put it back on again there's some there's some major has partly gone below the horizon so without those without those lines without seeing that if you were out there yourself looking you you might not know that that was Ursa Major because you can't see the rest of the constellation because it's below the horizon so there is another way here's another way that that you can do it if you say somewhere like Tenerife if you have a look up here you can see if I put the asterism lines back on again can you see this W or it looks like an M depending on what time of the year but let's say that this is a W upside down for the sake of argument because we're going to use a W um, use that have a look at the W because it's very very easy to see the W it's really easy to see Cassiopeia the W use this constellation here and just draw a line straight just draw a line straight up straight this way to find Polaris if you can't do it with Ursa Major this is just another way that I use to find the North Star although I don't even need to use that I just know where it is I think once you get really really used to it you just know where it's going to be but yes using the W and roughly drawing a line roughly from from there and you'll get to Polaris that way um, so that that's another way to find Polaris um, if you're not in a familiar place if you're if you happen to be abroad so I hope this helps uh, I hope I've explained it uh, quite well I know it's uh, difficult and I'm trying to do it on the computer here and it, it's actually a lot easier when you're outside and it, you, I'm able to point it out outside so hopefully in some future videos I'll be able to do that uh, I'll be able to sort of show 
the stars. If, if I can get if I can get the stars to show up on camera, I'll, I'll do it and I'll I'll show you from the outside. So I hope you like this little video and um, if it appealed to you, uh, hit the like button and also if you want to see more like this, um, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.